you had, uh, had enough of English, so if you allow me to speak in Arabic, please. Thank you. In the name of God, the most merciful, Mr. President, Excellency, Mr. President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Mr. Ilham Aliyev, ladies and gentlemen, may the peace of God be up new. I am happy to be here once again in this beautiful city of Baku, attending this uh, fifth World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue. May I first to thank His Excellency, Mr. Ilham Aliyev, President to the Republic of Azerbaijan and to the government of this country for the generous invitation to this meeting and for the effective uh, role in strengthening cultural and civilization dialogue between the West and the Islam. And I would, of course, have this respect to thank all those who actively participate. Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, uh, this, the forum of this year is based on the theme of working together against uh, discrimination, inequality, and violent conflict. I would like, therefore, to seize this moment to uh, strengthen the need to further the dialogue culturally in order for humanity to reach common goals and uh, build on, uh, on common ground, away from discrimination, xenophobia, and any other form of extremism. Today, the world is seeing all sorts of uh, discrimination and extreme behaviors and activities, and this has consequences of a tremendous uh, size and volume on all of us, on cultures, civilizations, and societies. Racial discrimination, religious discrimination, and conflict uh, has exacerbated these interactions, and it is uh, indeed sad to see these uh, uh, worsening of situations. Uh, this, uh, you know, can be weakened by the acts of killings as, what, as what, uh, what happened in New Zealand with the killing of 50 people in mosque and as well as uh, more than 250 people killed in Sri Lanka in churches. Indeed, uh, terrorism has no religion, no race, no nationality. This is the consequence of behaviors of very uh, narrow views, uh, and these are different uh, two faces of the same coin, actually. Therefore, they fight each other, they kill each other, and they exacerbate a discourse of hate and exclusion, uh, which again pushes towards further conflict and uh, to the exacerbation of violence. Therefore, dialogue between cultures and civilization is absolutely necessary. Uh, if we are to preserve the human family from this wave of hatred and extremism and violent extremism, Therefore, all our countries from the east to the west need to interact, and the Organization of Islamic Cooperation has been uh, working on this for quite a while, interacting with all other organizations and countries that are members of the organizations in order to establish a cultural dialogue, in order to strengthen understanding between civilizations and religions, and this uh, program is paramount in the activities of the Islamic, of the member states of the Islamic Islamic cooperation through various tools, political, cultural, informational in their nature. Therefore, the intention and the drive towards better understanding between cultures and civilizations is embodied in various decisions at the summit level and at the ministerial level of the Islamic cooperation organization, all of which reiterate that the dialogue between civilizations built on understanding and respect between people is a sine qua non condition for international peace, for tolerance and coexistence. Therefore, our organization, which plays such a pivotal role, can further showcase that religion is not synonymous with, with, with extremism and rejection. Therefore, the organization established a voice for wisdom 
and dialogue. So we need to revisit terminology and concepts and rectify them so that we do not necessarily equate extremism with Islam because it is not equated. Therefore, we've got to build on, on, co on cooperation, on tolerance, and on living together, coexistence. It is only this way that the religions, I mean, Abrahamic religions, be respected in their full in their in their full value excellency ladies and gentlemen uh, we should continue working together against discrimination violent conflict and equality and this dialogue should be taken outside such uh, such establishments and such buildings to society to the streets so various classes and categories of society should be involved and therefore public opinion uh, youth leaders religious leaders must be strongly involved in this endeavor. Therefore, uh, our organization uh, reiterates the need to interact and cooperate with decision makers so that we'll have better societies, more tolerant societies, and societies which are built on a sense of coexistence and, and, and happy living together. Uh, uh, strengthening cooperation and relations between, uh, between Muslims and non-Muslims in Southeast Asia uh, through the uh, the King Abdulaziz dialogue, all things which led to part uh, to the organization of a workshop in Thailand in Bangkok in December 2017, to which uh, at which several partners and uh, religious leaders and youth leaders uh, uh, participated and attended, as well as government representatives, in order to together understand the challenges that. Uh, are faced by these societies. Also in Central Africa, which is where a lot of conflicts are also registered, the, our organization played a role in convincing religious and youth leaders and government leaders to organize elections. The organization also asked for another dialogue process, which has been organized in 2014. Uh, in this wake, the uh, King Fed Center for Dialogue held in Senegal another forum on dialogue between religions, working together with the National Committee for the Democratic Process, as well as for the religious network, uh, which all led to the establishment of peace in Central African Republic. Uh, on another side, the organization, the Islamic Cooperation Organization, assisted the UN Human Rights Council on the, ex uh, on the uh, development of a plan so that uh, discrimination, violent conflict and equality be fought uh, so that all of us together, hand in hand, could move towards better societies built on respect and interaction. In conclusion, I would like to reiterate the commitment of the Islamic organization cooperation organization, uh, its commitment to further strengthen dialogue and interaction with all regions, between all regions and all civilizations within the world uh, trend and program plan for this purpose. And I would like to, therefore, to thank you and to wish the most successful uh, uh, proceedings to this uh, fifth World Forum on Intercultural Dialogue. And I thank you very much for your kind attention.